Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, this is a very strange video to make at this time of the game, but at the same time, I have been receiving comments to the effect, uh, and that is just basically trying to expound more about the game systems to people that are in the community or just joining. Um, somebody mentioned and said, hey, I have about a thousand shade level and I still don't even understand a lot of the stats that you have on the gear. In fact, that really rocked my mind because I don't have 1000 shade level on any of my characters and you know, uh, naturally because I play on different platforms and multiple accounts, but still for somebody to have gotten to that point and not necessarily, and they were confessing this by the way. So I thought, why not make a video uh, on a very simple build and we're gonna work on that build together and I'm going to show you pretty much the inner workings of your gear so that, you know, you can start understanding the stats because there are also a lot of new players. You just bought the game and you kind of will, you know, benefit from having discussions with more people in the community. Let me put it that way uh, about the game and about the gear and the talent. So we're going to just take, uh, you know, basically one brand set and we're going to build around just the three pieces of that brand set. We're not going to use any exotics. We're not going to use any gear sets. OK, now um, let's make, uh, say, a build that that goes with the Providence, uh, you know, um, I would say a brand set system. OK, so first of all, I want you to measure my bullet damage per weapon. OK, if you look at my bullet damage, uh, for my assault rifle right now, I am hitting for 83,000. Okay. If you look at my shotgun, I'll probably be hitting a little more. The range also is kind of weird. So some, well, let's not use the Scorpio. That just makes things really weird because it has status effects and stuff. Let's just go with the assault rifle at 83,691, uh, in terms of my, um, my base damage. Okay. So you also saw that there was some yellow critical hits that hit 109. So those critical hits are telling me, Hey, you know, you're hitting hits that actually deal a little bit more damage. And that's also based on my critical hit damage. So we're going to use the Providence. I do have a Providence set up here and I also have some other pieces that are with it just to complement it. So I'll explain those as we're going it says I'm in combat. I got to get out of the base of operations to actually switch that because the base of operations is designed, uh, you know, for you to simulate combat just so that some talents that allow for you to be in combat are actually activated. I didn't know that for the longest time. I thought there was a bug and then people explained that to me. So not everybody knows everything. So uh, we have Providence here. Providence is a brand set, um, you know, by the way, and it's actually got on the right side. You're going to see it's uh, stats that it comes with. So three out of three, I have three Providence items and they're going to grant me consecutively for the first piece, 15% headshot damage. And then the second 10% critical hit chance. And then the third 10, 15% uh, critical hit damage. Now critical hit chance and critical hit damage work together. If you get uh 60% critical hit chance, it means you're, uh, you know, however much, you know, bullets you fire, you're going to get a potential 60 plus percent of it to the land critical hits. And then the critical hit damage basically works in conjunction with your base damage to increase the damage of those critical hits. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Just know you're going to be getting more damage if you get 60% crit chance and then just start stacking critical hit damage that's just the base level understanding of that and so if you look at the core attribute on this mask i have an extra 13 percent weapon damage i have 12 percent crit damage uh, i have 5.3 percent critical hit chance and i have a mod that's a 5.2 percent critical hit chance mod so what i've done is i've taken the providence pieces i've put on three of those pieces a mask a backpack and a chest piece in order for me to get all three of the benefits of Providence. Now, I don't need to wear a fourth Providence. I've seen people say, you know, they've asked me, should I wear six of the, you know, the gear sets or the brand sets? You don't need for brand sets more than three. So I've already maxed out and I'm enjoying everything Providence has to offer. Now, here is another interesting thing on chess pieces, basically your vest and backpacks, there are talents that they come with. So including their core attributes, say this is my Providence vest, which has 12% crit damage, 9% crit damage as well, 9% headshot damage and 5.4% critical hit chance mod. I have a talent called unbreakable. So here is the first rule about building, basically understanding 
your stats, and your talents. That's the very basic thing you must do. Unbreakable is a talent. All what I've been sharing have been stats. So the first talent Unbreakable says when your armor is depleted, you repair 95% of that armor. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, you see that little emblem, like a, something with like a lightning thing in there. Basically, what this would do is when your armor is depleted, you're going to repair 95% of it and it's instant. So if I were to damage my character, uh, Unbreakable will kick in. You see it? It just kicked right up. It, and then now I have that emblem on the bottom uh, you know, corner. So what this says is you basically get an extra armor you know, benefit instantly while your arm armor shatters. So it's a survivability style talent. And so that basically gives me a little bit more uh, you know, buff to uh, my agent. So that's one really cool thing that that talent does. Another talent here that I have you know, on my backpack, which is basically we're following that rule, is Vigilance. Vigilance says increases your total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for four seconds. So if you want to see how increase in your total damage works by a percentage point, just add that percent to it. There are talents that amplify your percent, your, your weapon damage or your damage. If you want to understand how those numbers work, you multiply. So the word amplifies means you're going to be having multiplicative damage and the word increase indicates that you're going to be having additive damage. This is why I said the very first rule of understanding your build is that you know and understand your talents and what they mean because the wording is really interesting. If you look at this backpack here, this backpack basically uh, is for um, what's the name? Um, uh, I forgot Eclipse Protocol. Oh, my gosh. And this backpack has a talent called System Aggravator. It amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30 percent. So that is multiplicative damage when you're using that with status effects and when you're fulfilling its requirements. Notice that it's highlighted red. I need to have a back a chess piece for it to be able to work in the which has a indirect transmission. A whole different topic for another day. So let's do a quick recap. We've used all three Providence. We've gained all the benefits of Providence, all three bonuses. Now we have three slots, right? If it, it doesn't matter, you know, however order you want to put it, just make sure you're leveraging the right talents and the right brand sets. So on my gloves here, I have a, a, a pair of gloves that are called that are the Petrov brand set gloves. I have a pair of knee pads from the Overlord brand set knee pads, and I have another one here from the Grupo Sombra, uh, which is my holster, which is from another brand set. So this is pretty much, you know, understanding the talents and what brand sets they come under. So Petrov, uh, if I go and look at its own, if I put on one piece, I get 10% LMG damage. Now, if I wanted more weapon handling, I could add another Petrov, but because I want to maximize my damage, I have to go to other places to, to add, uh, you know, additional damage parameters. Also, because this is not just a Petrov glove, this is a named Petrov glove called the Contractor's Glove. It is a named item underneath the Petrov brand set. So you want to be looking for a pair of gloves like this. This is a very nice one. I don't remember where I got it. I think someone from my clan may have dropped this for me. So shout out to the LCN clan. Uh, and uh, the gentleman over there that hooked me up with this. I have a nice one on my PC account too, which I bought on the onset of One Laws of New York that they went into the thing and nerfed, which was very shady of them. Uh, and massive, this is the developers. But again, if you look at the stats here, I have 15% weapon damage. My attribute says I have 8% damage to armor. So any enemy that has armor, I will deal an extra 8% damage to their armor. And then I have 6% critical hit chance. So these, these pair of gloves are not necessarily just giving me only 10% LMG damage. They're also granting me an extra 8% damage to armor and an, also, and an extra 6% critical hit chance. Now, if you notice, the damage to armor is highlighted in yellow. It's basically a base roll on that named item. So every named item that I get that's a pair of contractor's glove will have that 8% damage to armor on there. I think that is correct. 
uh, I might be wrong. <laughs> I, I think to the best of my knowledge, that's correct. If I'm wrong, somebody help correct me because I've seen some other named items behave differently as well. So just take that for just a pair of gloves. Now, that has now increased my damage to a new number. Now, let's just put on a random pair of gloves that is not the Petrov glove, right? And let's use an LMG. Remember, what was that number that we had at the beginning of the video? About 86,000, right? Uh, well, let's use that same assault rifle. Sorry, let's keep things in place. I remember it was this ACR. That way we can kind of understand what's going on. So it was 86,000 at the onset of the video. Now, a critical hit, which was about 100 and something thousand, is now 300 and something thousand. A base hit, which is in white, which was, you know, about 80 something thousand, is now 160,000. Plus, I'm now frequently hitting more critical hits, uh, you know, than I was. And that is without the Petrov gloves. Understood, uh, you know, understandably, sorry, the Petrov gloves allow for my LMGs to be better, but I still have an extra 15% weapon damage that I can gain here and an extra 8% damage to armor and more critical hit chance. So let's put that glove now and see what's happening to my damage as we go up. So I was at 360 for critical hits and 160 for base hits. Let's see what happens now. I'm not at 181 for base hits. And now I'm also I'm at 391,000 for critical hits. So already you're starting to see the numbers creep up, which brings us to the second rule of building, which is test your talents and test your stats out while you're actually putting together pieces. This is a very important aspect of your build. Now, another aspect, too, is, um, you know, I have a pair uh, of knee pads called the Fox Spirit knee pads. They're under the Overlord Armaments brand, and it gives me 10% rifle damage. But it also gives me 8% damage to targets out of cover, and I also have some critical hit chance on there as well, including weapon damage. I don't have the max rule, so I'm missing 2% weapon damage and 0.1% critical hit damage on these knee pads. And so they are adding to my damage parameters. If you remember the numbers from just what we tested, if I were to change it to another pair of knee pads, I don't have uh, those stats. You're going to see that our numbers that were at 391 for critical hits and 180 would have gone down. So now 157 and then a crit is 321,000. So that means I'm losing damage there until I go back and don't that. So you're going to be seeing these, you know, changes. Oh, wait, I have a better pair here that I just have to go and roll the bottom. So good. You're going to be seeing these changes show up from time to time. The holster as well is a Grupo Sombra holster. And all I'm using it for is to get the 15% critical hit uh, damage that it grants me. And then the other stats that follows to improve my damage. So this is how you make your first build on your gear. The next thing, too, is looking at your weapon. You have to pay attention to your weapon because your weapon also has its core attributes and also has its attribute. And then finally, it has its own talent. This talent says uh, it's called steady hand. And it says, you know, a sta if, you, if I, you know, basically hit a, an enemy, I get a stack of 1% accuracy and stability. 100 stacks will consume and refill the magazine. So basically, if I get up to 100 stacks, I'm going to be able to get that. But, you know, that's a talent that basically gives me more accuracy. How about a talent that leverages my critical hits versus another talent that doesn't do that? In this case, I have a Black Market AKM, uh, which if you look at its total damage, which is basically based on my gear, I'm going to be dealing 121,000 base damage compared to this ACR, which is doing 111. Also note the RPMs. The RPM of the ACR is higher, but still noted this damage is significant enough that if I were to do a critical hit with this particular weapon, I am now in the almost, you know, I'm over 400,000 damage and almost 200 for the base damage. So it's also a very nice weapon to have. And then for headshot, I'll basically be getting about, yeah, about half a million when it comes to one headshot, pretty much, or even, uh, you know, decently even more, depending on how things stack with other players in the game. So that's also something you need to pay attention to and your weapon type as well. Also, your weapon talents. This one stress, this is says uh, strained. I gain 10% critical hit damage for every 5 seconds. I'm 0.5 seconds I'm firing and it stacks up to 5 times. You're going to notice that there's a significant increase in my damage as I continue to fire my weapon. And you're going to see that those numbers eventually start to climb. That's what's going to happen because I'm supposed to be getting, uh, you know, more critical hit uh, parameters as well on my gear if you get what I mean. So it's a very weird uh, situational thing. I have to be hitting targets uh, and it's a very small uh, stack. So you're not going to really see it uh, unless I'm, you know, unless I'm in battle and you're dealing with all that stuff.
And then, you know, another thing too is your mods. I made a video about mods as well, your, your uh, gear mods and your weapon mods. Those are also things that help you. If you check your chest piece, if you check your mask and your backpack, you have a slot for a mod. And I can add, I, if you notice, I had a critical hit chance on my mod, my backpack mod, on my chest piece mod, I added a more critical hit chance. And then even on my uh, vest, I added another critical hit chance mod. So those will help you. And then finally, uh, from the top of my head, I can remember your specializations. These also carry very important stats that you must pay attention to. So in this case, I was using an assault rifle. And if you notice, if you upgrade your specialization, you're going to get an extra 15% assault rifle damage. Notice also that I did not have my LMG uh, specced in. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to unspec my uh, I'm going to unspec my uh, <laughs> rifle and then actually put that to my LMG so that my LMG can now be hitting hard because this build actually is designed to have my um, my Bullet King work with it. So that's kind of the purpose. I want my LMG damage to go up. Now, I didn't use my LMG before I did that upgrade, but if I had done so, you would have seen an, uh, you'd have seen 15 percent less damage. Uh, so that LMG is designed to fire. Let me. I need a target that's really hard to, to take down. All these targets are really easy uh, in that sense. But that's pretty much the ideology behind your first build. You need to basically coordinate you know, a lot of parameters. And this is not even getting into some of the really in-depth stuff. This is just a basic, what we call a generic uh, you know, damage build that you uses um, all of the... Uh, the offensive parameters to actually work with them. If you notice, everything here is red. I have no blues nor yellows on the gear pieces that I built with. Building with the other blue pieces and the yellow pieces, which are basically defensive and utility pieces, can get complex, but I wanted to try my best to do the most simple thing that I could for those of you who are new to the game, who are still trying to figure out kind of how the systems work. This is basically a beginner crash course for you. If you wanted, you could also add your gear, but I say your gear, your, ta your uh, skills, but let's not deal with that just yet. We're going to discuss that in another video uh, as we go on in this conversation. So thank you very much for your time and audience. I appreciate you guys so much. Questions in the comment section. Talk to you all soon. Peace out.